Well, the Dakota is doing super, super well. Um, don't really have any major issues with it. And it's, I think I've got about a thousand, maybe a little more than a thousand miles on it. And it's consistently getting over 20 miles a gallon doing like most of my driving is about 70% highway. So it's, that's about as good as it's going to get. I would say I, I'd like to take it on a trip and do some straight highway, but I don't expect it to be too much better than that. But anyway, it's running good enough and everything that I've got the Toyota back on the lift here because uh, it's probably been about six months now since I noticed one of the rear axle seals was starting to leak and clearly I waited too long because it is got the wheel completely covered in oily dirt. So in case you're wondering if you see an oil leak, six months is too long. And I figured since I'm going to have the axles out anyway, might as well throw one of these cool little lunchbox lockers in the in the third member here since these Toyotas are pretty easy to work on so anyway a little little bit of maintenance on the Toyota it is at about 300,000 miles I think so issues like this are to be expected so let's throw it up on the lift and see what it looks like So, yeah, as you can see, it's been leaking for quite a while, apparently. So, let's go ahead and get that thing apart. I'll probably just do the other side too, take both shafts off and get this thing back on the road as soon as we can here. See what it looks like. All right, we got both the axles here split apart. You can see this was clearly the issue. Everything's nice and clean all the way around that sucker. So, got a couple of seals to put in this end. Like I say, we might as well put this one in too. It's a little rusty there. But it clearly wasn't leaking. But anyway, got the third member sitting here. That guy popped right out of the front. And we'll see if we can throw this locker in here quick. And then it'll be ready to put back together. Well, this is way more work than doing it in the Jeeps. You can actually put the slip this whole locker in without removing anything so this is quite a bit more work but it is nice that the third member comes out and it's all adjustable and everything so pretty sweet there probably the hardest part is getting these little pins in and, and lined up so we can set it back together and get it back in there no more spider gears for this guy All right, got it all bolted back together, torqued down. I went ahead and marked everything, so I put it all back how it was, but since my buddy has a dial indicator, I went ahead and figured I'd check it anyway. And looking up these Toyotas, the tolerance is uh, between 6 and 10, and I guess that's thousands. Anyway, just to check it here, oh, kind of bouncy, but just over eight there, so it is perfectly good. So we'll go ahead and get this guy all bolt bolted back up and get it back together. All right, I'll button back up and just check in the locker here. You can hear when it engages. So. 
Time to go test it out. Well, we got some awesome snow. As you can see, I was trying out the 40s from the Jeep on the Dakota there. It's looking pretty epic. But testing out this locker here, obviously these all-terrain tires don't do the best, but this thing was completely worthless. I'd get stuck just trying to go up my driveway with snow on the ground. And we got plenty of snow to try it out with. I think it settled some here, but we had about 12 inches there for a while. So, should be pretty, pretty good testing here to see if I can get the thing buried or not. So let's try to climb up this hill and probably a couple other things. All right, so I don't know if you guys could tell in that last pick, just going slow, that it was a slight incline. And man, this thing was worthless trying to go up a hill like that. Anytime there was any incline, it would just spin two tires and oftentimes it was on the same side. And so you'd get stuck in a rut or something and it'd just spin the two tires in the rut and you'd be done. I don't know how many times I had to have my Jeep and the pickup out just to get anywhere because I was constantly towing this thing around so again the tires don't help but it is doing way better than it was so definitely pleased with the locker and glad to get that sealed up so it's not puking oil out everywhere so anyway thanks for watching guys